Hi guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this is my interpretation of what Dory would look like as a human. So I begin by looking at a reference picture and I start to trace with a black eyeliner the black pattern pattern on um, Dory's body. So first she has these two stripes coming out uh, from her forehead towards her head and then I translated what's on her side of her body um, on my neck and on my chest. I then grab my Paradise Meron uh, body paints that are water activated and I just paint everywhere that's blue, blue, including um, just the center of my hair because she has sort of like a blue stripe going straight up towards her fins at the top. And this is me putting paint in my eye. Yeah, it happens. I decide to paint her two sort of side patches in yellow. I know that they're supposed to be blue, but I just thought that there was so much blue going on that some yellow would be nice to give it some contrast. I then fill in the rest of what's left in black face paint. Make sure to get into the hairline so that there's not too much skin uh, showing. Um, after the blue has sort of dried a bit, I grabbed more blue face paint and I just went over my eyebrows because that's an area where my hair is really, really dark. So I just went over it again with the blue. To begin highlighting, I grabbed some white uh, face paint and I started to blend it in with the blue. Just on top of my eyebrows, in the middle of the blue stripe, um, the bridge of my nose, uh, the top pointy part of my lip and, and the bottom lip as well. Um, and also I brought it from the eyebrows coming around my eyes down towards my cheeks. I then used the NYX uh, white eye primer uh, to prime my lids to do some purple and fuchsia eyeshadow work. Um, I chose these colors because Dory's actual eyes, like her pupils, are purple. So I decided to translate that onto my eye makeup. Then grab some black eyeshadow. I used uh, Makeup Geeks Corrupt and I just went over anywhere that was black with a black shadow that just kind of mats it down a bit and just kind of covers up uh, some of the streaks from the painting that will really show up on any picture that you take. Then to continue contouring, I grabbed some dark blue eyeshadow and I just went over my eyebrows, um, the area where the blue face paint and the purple were meeting, just kind of blend that out, uh, the sides of my nose, 
um, and then I grabbed some brown face paint to do freckles because Dory has really cute freckles on um, and then I continued on with the contouring um, over the freckles just so that it's not so intense and then um, right below I, you did the, the white um, on the sides of the cheeks and then my jawline down to my neck and really anywhere where the blue and the black would meet so that that line wouldn't be so harsh. I then grabbed some white eyeshadow um, and some silver as well and just went everywhere where I had the white face paint on just to uh, accentuate um, the highlights. I also went on new yellow patches and just used some yellow eyeshadow to matte it down and some brown to give it some depth. And then over the black I used some silver just to give it a, a, a really shiny like when the fish moves in the water. <laughs> um, I stuck down my ears with eyelash glue, which I do not recommend you do because it hurts like a bitch when you take it out, excuse the language. Um, but then I added some scotch tape and it was fine. Uh, with some black eyeshadow, I just kind of tied it all together so you don't really see the gap too much. And um, there is Dory. Thanks for watching. <laughs>